what are your some of your top agencies that are working with this product say that it has done for them? We talked with one group um, a little over a year ago. He required all of his agents to use our our software, and um, his his production and net profit increased thirty percent in twelve months with the same sales force, same group of people selling to the same thirty percent increase. Price. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Life Insurance Academy podcast. I wonder how many times you get tired of me hearing say that at the beginning of a podcast episode. Probably not enough because you're in love with it, just like all the other listeners. Today, we've got a very special guest coming to you from all the way across the country, from a little town, not Moscow, Russia, Moscow, Idaho. So you uh, pronounce it Moscow. Is it Moscow? It rhymes with Idaho. Moscow, Idaho. There you go. Yeah, that works for me. And uh, he's coming to, uh, coming to you to talk about this silent epidemic that's going on in America. Yeah. Mr. Sean Meenan, welcome to the Life Insurance Academy podcast, man. Thanks for having us, Roger. We appreciate it. And we're excited to have you here. Uh, you're in studio. You're all branded up with your agency Rocket brand. And this is a software company, huh? Correct. Software company designed to solve, solve problems for agents, and to provide solutions for clients. I don't think I could have said it any better. Yeah. Um, I think I heard my good friend Dane Smith <laughs> say one time Love Dane. that we offer people the opportunity uh, to grow their money. I think I'm saying this right. Risk-free and tax-free. We show Two, people how to grow their money. Show people how to grow their money risk-free and tax-free. Two things. That everybody wants, but nobody thinks is possible. Right. And you guys have tapped into the uh, genius of some provisions inside of cash value life insurance and then mm -hmm. created a software around that to make the process easy for agents to help them change and impact this silent epidemic, this financial crisis that's going on in America Sean Meenan, why is there a financial crisis going on in America? And what is this silent epidemic, man? Oh, man. Uh, we could have a whole podcast just about that, probably. Yeah, we could. Um, you know, conventional wisdom has told us to do certain things a certain way for a really long time, mm. right? Um, go to school, get a good job, work as hard as you can, save money in a 401k, right? Pay off your house as soon as you can mm -hmm. so that you can retire in some comfort. Yeah. That was a good idea back when it was first talked about, but I don't think it's something that applies to the, the way our world works today. Um, if you were to ask anybody in the future, do you think taxes are going to go up or down? A hundred percent up. They, everybody says up, right? They don't just say up. They're going up. Everything's going up. Inflation's everybody going up. Believes taxes going are going up. up. But the interesting thing is when it comes to looking at somebody's individual finances, it seems like every individual seems to think that they're going to be the exception to that rule. Well, they think that they're going to be in a lower tax bracket because they're not making the money they're making right now. Yeah, so explain that to me, though, right? Their house is paid off, probably. Hopefully all their kids have moved out, so there's no dependents. They're no longer contributing to a qualified plan, so there's no deduction there. So 100% of their income now is going to be fully taxable, and how is that going to put them in a lower tax rate in retirement? To me, that doesn't make sense. But... They're still putting money into that qualified plan. So what if they were just in the same bracket, right? So you think tax rates are going up. If you really subscribe to that belief, I, it doesn't make sense to me why somebody would ever put money into a pre-tax account. So we're talking to life insurance agents who mm -hmm. listen via audio, Apple, podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Stitcher Radio, all these different podcast platforms where you can get our content. And we also have people watching on YouTube. And we're talking about 401ks and risk and growing money tax-free. And they're wondering, what the heck does this have to do with life insurance? Right. What does it have to do with life insurance and how does it benefit them? Well, you know, one of the platforms we built with Agency Rocket is a, a platform called the Money Retirement Platform. 
and it focuses on thinking about retirement in a, in a different way and using a cash value life insurance contract. Money grows tax-free. It can be taken out in the form of policy loans, tax-free. Um, is it technically tax-free or is it tax-deferred, technically? Technically, it would grow tax-deferred and could yeah. be taken out as a policy loan tax-free. Yeah, you could access it tax-free. You tax can access free, it. Yeah. And it's growing tax-deferred because at some point in the future, there's a lump sum of money paid out and you don't have the right structure set up to it. You well, would that, have to you're, pay. You're yeah. coming down to the, the all the disclaimers, right? These yeah. have to be properly structured. Yes. And the reason we, one of the reasons we wanted to build this software is because a lot of agents in the industry uh, are a little shy about getting into the index universal life space. Right? Because it's tricky. IULs or, can be super tricky. There are a lot of moving parts, right? Mm -hmm. well, how does it, how do you explain this to your client? And they're worried they're going to get caught in the, you know, lost in the weeds of, of questions and, um, you know, how do, how do we handle this rebuttal? Or how do I explain this properly so I'm not out of compliance with something, right? Yeah, or, or ruining someone's, <laughs> you know, retirement. Absolutely. By getting right? them to do something stupid. Yeah. Because so, what they hear on the radio and on the Sunday morning talk shows that go on for two hours, the call-in talk shows is, you know, continue to save in a good growth stock mutual fund. That's right. Buy you know, term life insurance, invest the difference, invest the difference yep. and over time you'll be fine. And the average 401k over the last six years, and we're in 2023. So if you're listening to this episode in 2023, over the last six years, the average 401k with a, some mixed funds, you know, and not really a, uh, not really a, um, a, a highly managed portfolio, but in one of those, you know, like self-directed and, and set it up with some, with some provisions and, you know, guidelines and guardrails mm -hmm. to keep you from losing everything, the average one has made less than 4%. It's like 3.84% yeah. annualized yeah. for the past six years. Yep. And inflation's running at 10%, right. 11%. So we're losing money. Outpay, we're losing money. We're saving money and losing it. But they're telling us we're making money and stay the course. Yep. You're doing a good... Why do people keep telling us that? Well, who are the people who are saying that? Who are they? Typically, I think they're probably the fund managers who want you to keep doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And all the people that are also participating in those plans because they believe the fund managers. And so they just keep repeating what they've been told. Yeah, exactly. And parents say, get a, start your 401k. And yep. So does your HR manager. So does your... Yeah, you and they sign you up. And the HR manager is incentivized to do it because they get a payroll tax deduction when you sure. invest in 401k. And that goes out ahead of payroll, and so it lowers the overall payroll taxes for the employer. Yeah. So they're incentivized, right? Fund managers are incentivized. The agencies, the financial advisors get a fee, a trail fee, or a, some kind of fixed fee. It depends on what it is, but yeah. there's still all these fees that are coming out. So many. Uh, Forbes says, that, uh, this was an article from um, quite a few years ago now, but the average cost of owning mutual funds falls between 3.4 and 5.6% annually. And if it's only making 3.84, we're You're going backwards. We're getting duped, man. Yeah. What's going on? So what, how does life insurance or a properly structured cash value life insurance plan solve this problem? And how can it be easily accessed and understood and implemented by the agent that's listening today? How can they access that? And how can they help clients in a different way than they're thinking right now? Because most of them are thinking, I got to buy leads. I'm selling final expense over the phone or face to face. Sure. Do a mortgage protection term. I refer some people on some annuities. I write some annuities every now and then and help protect the lump sum money they got from my clients that are 60, 65. Yep. And you know, I might do a little health insurance and some Medicare, and that's what they. Th that, that's that's yeah. the world they're in. Right. What What about these? Uh, there's another way, and there's another option. There is, and so IUL seems to be a, a pretty powerful thing for that. So there's, you know, there's a, a couple things the IUL does, right? It it takes some of that tax conversation out of the equation. Indexed it's, universal life. Indexed universal life. What does index mean? Um, money is tracked typically by an index. There's different indices you can follow, but the basic concept behind it is you get to participate in market gains, usually up to some sort of a cap, not always. Um, but you're protected from any downside loss. So maybe you've heard the phrase zero is your hero. It's that's kind of the concept. Um, people in the annuity business are familiar with the concept of indexing. A lot of annuities follow that same same style of a concept. But in an IUL, Index Universal Life, 
you remove some of that tax conversation because an IUL is funded with after-tax money. Correct. So you're paying that tax up front, and then once it goes into the properly structured policy, uh, there's hopefully no more tax that's that's ever paid on on those funds. So on a traditional 401k, we're deferring taxes. Deferring taxes, yep. And then once we turn, what's the age for a minimum distribution? What's the age for your first distributions that are allowable? 59 and a half. 59 and a half. And when is the maximum age where you have to take distributions, the required minimum distributions? Did they just change that? It seemed like it's 72. I think it's 72 and a half, but I heard they were talking about changing that. So they won't let you like just keep it there and hand it off. They make Whether you, you start the taking it or out. not. Because what do they to. want? They want their tax bill. When we say they, who are we referring to? We're talking about Uncle Sam. The government, yeah. right? So you're deferring it to pay it later. Right. And inside of an indexed universal life, which is funded after tax, you've already paid the tax on the seed. That's right. You pay tax you're not on paying the seed, it on the, not harvest. the harvest. You got it. Tell me about that seed and harvest concept and why that's why that needs to be understood by new agents. Well, do you want to pay tax on a smaller amount, the seed, and then let that seed grow without any further taxes down the road? Or would you rather not pay tax on that little seed, let it turn into this big, wonderful, bountiful harvest that's much larger and much bigger and pay tax on that amount? So that's a concept that it, that's one of the points we actually hit in our software. Yeah. Because instead of trying to explain that like you just had me do... There's real numbers in the software that show exactly this is the seed tax, mm. this is the harvest tax, which one would you rather pay? So it simplifies the tax conversation, mm -hmm. our software does, when it comes to talking about IUL. And the other uh, thing it solves is um, a lot of the costs, right? You just said fees are expensive. We talked about that article from Forbes. Um, we know what the policy charges are inside of a, a life insurance contract. They're mm -hmm. in the contract. Right? We know the premium load. We know the cost of insurance. We know exactly what that's going to be down the road. But, well, Sean, my employer, dadgummit, they match it. Yeah. They match my 3% with 3%. That's free so that's money, right? free money. Why would you give up free money? I'm asking. Well, what's going on with that? So at least do that, right? Well, drinks are free at the casino, too. That's, this is true. Right? What's that mean? Yeah. <laughs> You don't want to. You don't want to pay. Uh, you know, ten dollars for that drink at the bar, so you go sit at a poker table or a blackjack or slot machine, so you can get your free drink. And then a few minutes go by, and you're down twenty bucks. You're better off getting two full price drinks at the bar, right? Mm -hmm. But do you want to take that gamble? It might pay off. It might. But the thing a lot of people don't understand with employer match money is where you're going with this, yeah. right? Yeah. Because that's what I hear, right? I mean, like. You yeah. At least do that. At least do and that. Then contribute do something up to match. Else. I was in that camp. I, I've talked, I, I've been in the financial services space for 17 years now. And so I, you know, I've been an advocate of that as well. And then, and then we built our software and I'm, you I'm, changed your mind. I changed my mind what after happens? seeing the math. Hey, I proved Here's you wrong. one of the things I didn't realize <laughs> on employer match money. Yes. That sounds great. That's free money. Why uh -huh. wouldn't I take it? Yeah. You have to pay tax on money you did not contribute. And you're paying fees all along the way on money that you did not contribute. So it really doesn't move the needle that much on when you might run out of money and how long that money will last you. Mm -hmm. Fees are expensive. Taxes are expensive. So why would you? Why, why would you? It's, it's like somebody saying, hey, I've, I know we're sitting here in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, I got a free bus ticket. It's going to California. I don't want it because I'm trying to go to Florida. Yeah, but it's, it's free. Why wouldn't you? It's free. That's how I think about the employer match. Yeah. It's, that's that ticket to California, and I'm trying to go to Florida. So you guys have created a software. We've got agents that are listening, and you have to pay for your software. Obviously, this is your business. This is your model. You guys create software. You go all over the country. You're on a crusade yeah. telling the story about how to, how to attack the silent epidemic that's wiping us out, literally wiping us out. Nobody really wants to talk about it. The only people that seem to be talking about it are the, are the ones that are making money from the traditional uh, systems that have been set up right. and proponents of that system, uh, and they do it over and over and over again. I think it's starting to slightly change. Like I think this financial literacy is taking hold just a little bit. Like even in some of the Sunday shows, like I, I'm a listener to some of these things just to see what people are still saying. And like at least some of the fixed indexed annuities are starting to get a little more traction now yeah. because they've seen the volatility in the market this last six years. That's and right. anybody that was approaching age 65 and wanting to retire and then their half their retirement is wiped out in just a very short period of time, 
like, yeah, you can keep doing, you know, cash or, you know, uh, good growth stock mutual funds and invest the difference. But when you're 64, you're more concerned about the return of your money than a return on your money at that time. Right. And yeah. so you can't afford those losses anymore. And then I know there's companies that say, well, if you got a good advisor, they're going to start scaling you down and putting you in more conservative and, you know, start moving some of that money into more safer thresholds. But most people don't have an advisor that's paying attention to them like no, that. No, they don't. Most people, you know, when the market's soaring, everybody thinks they're an investment genius, right? Because it doesn't really matter. It seems like it doesn't matter where you throw your money, you're going to get a pretty good return. Yeah. And it's in those downturns that people realize, whoa, this this is this is a bigger deal than I than I thought it was. And you got to have somebody that's really paying attention to the incremental uh, micro differences between where the market's moving and being able to take you with them. Yeah. In order to have that, and most of those advisors, those people are committed to their seven and eight figure clients. Usually, they're not committed yeah. to the guy who has two hundred thousand or the seven hundred thousand. They're committed to the three, five, ten million, twenty million, fifty million dollar clients and up. Yeah, and I, I don't mean to sound like I'm just ragging on securities license reps. You know, there, mm -hmm. there's af absolutely a place for that in in people's lives. You know, we're just we're just trying to build a a, a solution for kind of your maybe a safe money bucket right a lot of advisors focus on the size of the nest egg mm -hmm. uh, we feel that it's not the size of the nest egg that's that important but it's what that cash flow can provide mm -hmm. and in a properly structured index universal life insurance contract um, we can work on accumulating some uh, account value some cash value inside that contract and turning on a guaranteed lifetime income stream that is tax-free in retirement so I love those words, a guaranteed lifetime income stream that is tax-free in retirement, man. That's, that sounds sweet. Or earlier if you want it. So you guys are in town um, from uh, your partner, uh, John, from Tampa, Florida. You came in from Moscow, Idaho. Yeah. Did I say it right that yep. time? Yeah, good job. And uh, you're actually going to be teaching at one of our training workshops that we're doing this weekend, an event we're doing here in Louisville. Um, and we're talking about ways to help clients um, – Put, put people in a better position. I've always said sales should be ethical. Mm -hmm. And the definition of ethical selling is the willing and desired exchange of value that moves people to a better place. Sure. Persuasion. Right? And I am a pr proponent of that. Correct. Persuasion is a beautiful thing. Most people think of it as an icky thing, uh, you know, as, as a pushy, as, as taking advantage of people. And I'm a proponent of making sure that at the Life Insurance Academy, at least, that we're putting concepts and, and, and teaching principles that elevate our industry that, that, you know, want to raise the standard for agents and advisors. And I think the software that you guys have developed and the passion at which you tell the story is an amazing one. And when I met you, I wanted other people to know. So if you're mm -hmm. wondering why, why Sean Meenan, uh, why is he coming in from Moscow, Idaho to talk about this on the podcast? It's because I have a passion for helping people win. And if you're an agent right now and you've just gotten into the business or you've just been in the business a few years, you probably don't have your own financial portfolio set up correctly. They, they probably don't. You probably don't have yourself set up properly with the right structure uh, to really take advantage of the tools and resources that are right under our noses. And it's only because nobody is telling you about it. And with inside the life insurance industry, there's this, these beautiful provisions cash value life insurance that go against the norm of traditional thought. But these are principles that the wealthiest people in America have mm -hmm. used their entire lives. Like, go, I mean, you can take it way back. Rockefellers. Yes, you could take it way back. And these guys use these strategies. In fact, they lobbied for these strategies and provisions inside the policies so they could leverage it to grow their wealth. Uh, and there's these provisions that a lot of people don't know about. And it's almost like a best kept secret. And you guys are peeling back the layers and showing normal everyday agents who are getting started, not only how they can get involved to, ch to change their own tra trajectory, but their own savings, because we're teaching them how to sell and become profitable. And you guys are coming along with software that they can now take some of that profit and invest it into a vehicle uh, or into a savings. And just simply a lot of times just redirecting what they're currently doing into a plan right. and creating an entirely different future for themselves. But not just that. Now your software is designed to help tell the story to clients. That's right. In and a that's very the simple thing way, that right? It was, right? Most agents in, first of all, like I said earlier, they're, they're 
nervous or concerned about having that IUL conversation, especially yeah. the new agent, like yeah. you were just talking about, mm -hmm. but even seasoned ones who have not really focused in the IUL space before, mm -hmm. um, because there are so many moving parts and they do have to be properly structured. Mm -hmm. So they shy away from that. And the other thing, um, agents who do sell IUL and maybe do well at it, most of them are selling off of a 47 to 60 page, uh, PDF, illustration. An il illustration, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And, and they're, they're a necessity. They're they're there. You have to include them as part of the sale, but they're clunky and it's tricky. And you know, hey, go to page twenty six and look at the tenth column over and the nineteenth row down. And this is kind of what we think the cash value might be uh, when it's time for you to retire, right? Um, that's that's hard. Um, it's a, just a big ugly book with no pictures. Yeah. So we wanted our software to be the pictures to that story. So it's visually appealing. It it demystifies Index Universal Life. There's landing pages for the agents to send to their prospects mm -hmm. to help start the conversation and the education. We wanted to create an educational platform mm -hmm. where clients can come learn about IUL and want to buy one instead of trying to teach agents how to be really good at selling them. Okay. So one of our main webinar educational videos explains everything about the IUL how it works, how the policy loans work, why is it tax-free income, why is mm -hmm. the nest egg not that important, but it's the cash flow that is. Yeah. Um, you know, how do, what's the difference between average return and actual return, and why is that important? Yeah. So this, the software tries to help the, the consumer understand what IUL is, why they'd want one. I don't even think and it, it tries. Takes all the, it takes it, all the it, heavy, it does. It does it, all the heavy lifting, right? <laughs> An agent not knowing anything about mm -hmm. IUL other than kind of the overall... Arch and of IUL what it is works. just the vehicle for the it's strategy. Just, it's just the vehicle, right? I mean, the strategy is in the tax code. It's seventy-seven oh two. Yeah, the vehicle. Right? The, the the vehicle is the strategy that happens to be wrapped in this thing called IUL, Index Universal Life. Right. The thing I like about it is not variable. It's not volatile. It gets the upside of the market. You have zero risk of loss, and you're structuring uh, a strategy for retirement that most people are not talking about, and you're doing it through basically contributing to your own accounts. Yeah, as opposed to other people's accounts. So for those that are watching on YouTube, I think we, we can maybe take them to a landing page and we're going to show them a couple things. And for those of you who are on audio and maybe listening on your morning drive or you're on the road on the way to see a client or if you're in your morning routine or on your bike ride or on your run, whatever you do whenever you listen to us, um, you can go to lifeinsuranceacademy.org forward slash agency rocket and you can hit some of those landing pages. What are they going to see when they hit that? the front end of your website. There's going to be some overview content there that they can pay attention to. What, what are they seeing there? Because uh, there's uh, several components to what you guys yeah, offer, there right? There will be some training videos and a little explanation of the different you know, components of our system. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a couple different platforms we're focusing today on the IUL side. Um, called My New Retirement. My New Retirement. We have another one that uses Participating Whole Life called Dead Action Plan. Um, but the three main components are Reach, Tracker, and Analyzer. Reach is our prospecting and marketing system. So there's uh, a couple different landing pages or opt-in pages there. It's kind of the start of a sales funnel, right? And it, and it really gives you a customized, uh, for agents that use this, that subscribe to your software, it's um, their own. Roll, and it's, it gives you your own landing page. Do you That's have right. one of those landing pages? Yeah. It's their I, own, I even have one, guys. Website. I have my own landing page. These guys set me up. I got my own landing page. It looks slick. I think they made me look better looking than I am. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it just makes you look really sharp. And you can tie it into your own stuff. Right? You right. can link yeah. directly out to your own stuff and yep. put this on your, you know, your link tree, on your social media. Like there's a ton of ways that you can really get this out there to people. Uh, so they and can the see the pages that. Are, are customizable. Um, so you can add some of your own content. You can uh, integrate with uh, Calendly or some sort of a scheduling app if you wanted to nice, for people nice. to, you know, just select it and set an appointment with mm -hmm. you right away. As people interact with the Reach platform, uh, prospects or clients interact with it, they're, they're automatically added to our CRM, which we call Tracker. That's mm. a second component. And it's just, you, you've seen, you know... Pipeline. Th there's a whole yeah, pipe drive and uh, constant contact, and there's a whole bunch of them out there. Um, ours is just integrated with the Reach platform, but we can send and receive data to other CRMs uh, if people are interested in that. But it's just designed to keep you in charge of, you know, on top of all your open business, any open pending business. Um, so that nothing slips through the cracks. Most insurance agents are not good when it comes to detail-oriented stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Paperwork, signatures. Oh, I forgot to grab this form. Whatever. So the CRM if, is just designed to help. If you, you stay move there. them forward in that CRM, does it send another communication to the potential prospect or the client? 
Uh, it depends on uh, the pipeline and how stuff is kind of set up or integrated with some third-party platforms. Yeah, so if yeah. you use another platform like um, Impact Link Plus and you have integrations built in there, uh, you can nurture those leads along even there you inside of that pipeline yep. and and have uh, drip messages and reminder texts and emails and stuff to, to, to just show some value-add pieces or reminders. Right. Yeah, So and that all integrates with their software. Yep. Yep. So you have reach, reach you have tracker, tracker, and then analyzer is the big shiny ball, right? This is the this is the coolest part of the thing. This is our client facing sales tool. So our software does all the heavy lifting, right? Mm -hmm. From the educational standpoint, we want to teach the client why they want to buy an IUL mm -hmm. instead of teaching the agent how to sell it. Yeah. So analyzer is the cool thing because what our software does, it's a conceptual selling tool. Okay. Here's what the IUL is, and here's how it works. Mm -hmm. If you didn't do IUL and you instead took that money and let's say put it into a 401k or an IRA or just a savings vehicle or whatever, a Roth, here's how that could look in a true like apples to apples side by side uh, kind of comparison view. Okay, so you go run an illustration. I ran an illustration for $500 a month and I just upload that entire PDF to our system. So I talked before about these 47 pages and trying to find the tabular data you want to explain to your client, you just upload that entire 47 page PDF to our platform. Our system parses through all of those pages, finds the relevant data it needs to create this really nice, clean side-by-side -side comparison of an IUL against a hypothetical example. It could be a qualified plan or a Roth or just what do you a mean when you say a qualified account. plan? Qualified plan pre-tax accounts. So your like 401ks, your 403bs, your IRAs, your Simple 457s, IRA, all of like those. That. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So a lot of jobs, corporate America, they offer these programs. They offer a small match sometimes. Sure. Up to 2 3%, sometimes 4% for executives or 5 if you're like top level. Right. Um, and uh, that's a traditional plan. And then mm -hmm. there's this new strategy called My New Retirement Strategy. And you're using uh, an IUL strategy there right. properly structured maximum cash growth minimum death benefit it's That's actually right. the opposite of what most people think of when yeah. they think of life insurance right because inside these life insurance policies there's a provision 7702 in the tax code and yep. allows for you to grow cash inside of a policy and you can actually access that cash through policy loans without having to pay tax on it because it's not really deemed as income because it's, by it's definition it has money. to be paid back right when does a policy loan get paid back in a life insurance contract typically well, for sure, upon death. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, so it can be paid back early, but it doesn't have to be. Yeah. And you can pay for it on death, in right. which case that gets paid off first, death and then any remaining balance reduced. gets paid to your heirs, your beneficiaries. Right. So, also but tax it's, it's what you do in the meantime is where the power of this is. Right. Right? Between now and then. Yep. So you're using a, a tool, product, to change um, the trajectory of your financial future just by going about it differently. Sometimes it's not even investing anymore. True. Yeah? Yeah. Tell me, sh so talk to me quickly. Let's give a, let's give a five minute rundown how this works. Obviously we got people listening on Spotify and they don't have the visual cue. So again, I encourage you to watch this episode on YouTube uh, or certainly go to the uh, lifeinsuranceacademy.org forward slash agency rocket. Uh, let's give them a quick high level overview. I'll try to kind of run a play by play of what people are seeing as we go. Yeah. So like I said, I'm not going to focus on, you know, the process for uploading the actual illustration. It's simple. Select the file, upload. Done, I've seen it right? done. You it's, literally upload it and it does all, takes pulls a few out seconds. I don't know to, how you guys figured out how to do that, but it's ingenious. So it, what it does is it extracts all the data it needs to create this, you know, to do this side-by-side -side, mm -hmm. uh, example here. Yeah. The green is the IUL. The blue is, we call it a hypothetical example. And we say hypothetical because you could have it behave like a qualified plan, which we just defined earlier, or you could have it behave like a Roth or behave like a just a, a brokerage account or savings account. So we just call hypothetical. The, um, the software then takes all the data off the IUL and then mm -hmm. does math to back into numbers to see what that comparative view could look like. Yeah. So for example, if there was $6,000 going into this IUL every year, if somebody were in a 20% effective tax rate, that's the equivalent of $7,500 going into a pre-tax account. Let's just call it a 401k for ease of viewers. So more, ears. you actually have to put more into your mind, new retirement strategy than you do into a qualified plan. Less. 
6,000 into the IUL versus 7,500 into a 401k. Explain why. Well, because the 7,500 is going in pre-tax. So Mm -hmm. if you did not do that and you instead took that $7,500 as income, you don't have 7,500 anymore, right? Because then in a 20% effective tax rate, that means that 7,500 is on the equivalent of 6,000. Gotcha. So we got apples to apples comparison here. Does that make sense? Yeah, I love how you do that. So we keep track of, of taxes, the taxes that would be deferred inside the qualified plan versus the amount of tax you would pay in the IUL. Mm-hmm. We keep track of the fees or the policy charges and expenses. We pull those off of the illustration data as mm-hmm. well. Yep. Uh, and we keep track of what the account value might grow to over time. You, know, you mentioned life insurance, mm-hmm. right? A lot of people think they don't think that this can work with typical life insurance, but most people's definition of life insurance is more death insurance, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is a style of a policy that can be used while people are actually still alive. So the power of this is what? Tell me where the power comes from. We have this beautiful little slider at the top that starts with the current age of the insured Mm -hmm. on the illustration. And you can just simply drag that and watch all the numbers change in the side-by-side view. And you're dragging it month by month into the future. This is year by year into the future, right? So this example started as a 30-year-old we go all the way up to drag that slider all the way to age 64, mm-hmm. and you can see a side-by-side comparison of how all of these things would have performed. So, for example... In your 401k or traditional savings versus your minute retirement strategy. That's right. So, we talked earlier... Clients can see it. About side seed side. versus harvest, right? Yeah, correct. Tax on the seed versus harvest. Okay, well, here, on the IUL side, mm-hmm. we've paid $52,500 in taxes. Yeah. Up front, right? Because we, we funded the policy with the after-tax money. Correct. So we've paid $52,500 on this money so far. On the 401k side, this hypothetical side, $101,000 is Uncle Sam's portion. <laughs> That's how much you've deferred in taxes. Would you rather pay 52000 in taxes or 100000 in taxes? Is this why you started to stop believing about the match and all that? Oh, we haven't even got to that part yet. <laughs> But instead of trying to explain this analogy of farming and seed versus harvest, I mean, I married a girl that grew up on the middle of a 4,500-acre ranch in North Dakota. That analogy works. Yeah. It doesn't work for everybody, Correct. right? Try to explain that analogy to somebody living in San Francisco. They don't know seed versus harvest. Mm. There's no farms out there. Yeah. Right? But they can see this. Would you pay fifty-two? Would you rather pay 52000 or or 100000 in taxes? Not uh, 52. Okay. That's easy. It's right there in front of them. Yeah. Let's look at the fees. We know this life insurance contract, 34 years into it, you'll have paid $45,828 in this example of this mm-hmm. illustration in policy charges and expenses. At a 2.5% fee rate on a 401k, which is below what the Forbes said the average cost was, you've paid over $190,000 in fees. Would so, you rather pay $45,000 in fees or $190,000 in fees? Uh, clearly, I would rather pay 45000 in fees. Okay. That's the my new retirement strategy. Now we're going to retire. Now we're retiring. Okay. Really? We just did it, you and me? Well, we're all, uh, you we're, showed we're up from Moscow, now, Idaho. We're getting right? ready to retire. We, we started out as 30 years old together about 20 I love minutes it, man. ago. I love it. I hope we haven't aged like that movie Click or whatever it was called with uh, <laughs> what was the guy's name who clicked through Adam Sandler. He kept clicking through his life, and the next thing you know, he's an old dude. That's not. You're not doing that to me right now, are you? I'm trying not to. Okay, good. This illustration for this IUL shows that at age 65, we can start taking $57,000 of tax-free income out. Boom. Let's go. And that can go all the way up to age 120. If you want to have $57,000 of tax-free income from your 401k, in this example, Mm -hmm. in this exact same scenario with the same inputs, you'd have to take a $72,000 distribution because you have your first tax bill on that money because it's been growing tax deferred. It's not been taxed yet. You got your first tax bill of almost $15,000 to net you the same amount of after-tax money or f- in, uh, income tax-free money that you would have had on the IUL side. The, this, the software simplifies this whole conversation. So instead of trying to explain all of that to your client, you just move the sliders and you drag them. And you show them. Oh, well, I'm not in a 20% tax rate. Great. We can change that. It changes, the, it changes everything. All the inputs are there. So concerns from your clients can be addressed in real time. And one of the things I really appreciate about these guys, and, and I'll say this to you, Sean, when you were talking to me about the software and how it works, like you can't fudge the numbers as an agent here. Because we, the, the, we cannot manipulate data on an NAIC approved insurance illustration, right? So these the, numbers are from that uh, NAIC. So here's what I learned about them that really impressed me. You can't upload the short version of an illustration that doesn't show all of the fees. Yep. It won't, it, won't it. it won't allow you to take it because it needs to show every fee 
so we can be fully transparent about all the fees, how it works, and how it applies in a real-life scenario versus a traditional investment strategy. That's right. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, transparency is key, right? Yeah. If, if as an agent, yeah. I'm not talking to my client about how fees work inside of a, a life insurance policy, yep. I'm going to get a call in 12 months when that annual statement comes out because mm-hmm. that number is on page one and it's not in small font. Yeah, that's right. So end result. End result. We're winding in this, this scenario, down. We're winding, winding this down. down for people. How, do, how does this work and how, do they, how, do, how does this, what's the net result of this strategy? End result is it shows the software would show to an average client the simplicity in a simple way of explaining how the mm-hmm. IUL works versus probably what they're currently doing, which is most people are putting money in a 401k. Yeah. In this side-by-side example, with all things being equal. How long can they take money the out of their 401k The 401k would last strategy? them seven years. So at age 72, they'd be out of money. But isn't there ways that you can make that last for your full life? Oh, sure. You could take less money every year, so it lasts you a little bit longer. Go back to work part-time, move in with your kids. None of those seem like super attractive no. options So they have to, to take me. lower money because if they take 72000 a year, which is the equivalent of 50-something tax-free, yeah. they're going to run out of money in seven years. In this example. When did they run out in the mining retirement strategy? They didn't. What do you mean? Well, let's say they live to... Give me an eight. How, Roger, how old, how old do you want to be when you die? Well, my dad's 93 right now, so I'd like to at least live as long as he did. Okay, so 94, 95, what are you, I was just 95, sure. 95? Yeah. In this example, at age 95, mm-hmm. you funded this IUL mm-hmm. at age 30 with $210,000. It gave you $1.7 million in total tax-free income. Mm. If you make it to 95, you'll still pass on a $63,000 death benefit to your heirs, also tax-free. Total benefits of one point eight million minus what you funded it with. It's about a one point six million dollar decision. And on the four hundred one k side, you've been out of money for twenty three years. Okay. So you tell me what the end result is. So, agents buy this. They plug in their illustrations, and everyone signs up. Is that how it works? <laughs> <laughs> in, a, in a very simplistic view, yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is not. This is not a cost to the consumer, right? This mm. is a tool that the agents would subscribe to and and pay for, and it, it would help them uh, increase their production, increase their closing ratios, because it demystifies and simplifies the conversations surrounding IUL. Uh, is this a high ticket thing? Are agents going to be spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month to get this subscription? It's a monthly subscription, right? A monthly subscription. There's a couple bells and whistles you can get, but just the base platform is only fifty nine ninety five a month. And if people go through what? <laughs> yeah. And if people go through um, if the Life Insurance Academy podcast website. I don't know if you guys keep flying across the country doing all these tra- training seminars. Well, at look, bucks you, you talk all the time about wanting to make an impact or make a difference, right? Yes. You want to be a difference maker. You wear yes. that all the time. Uh-huh. Um, we do too. Um, yeah, of course, we're, we're here to make money selling the software. But if it's something that's not affordable or achievable for most client or most agents to come in and, and use, um, nobody's being helped. What are your what are your some of your top agencies that are working with this product say that it has done for them? Uh, we talked with one group um, a little over a year ago. He f- required all of his agents to use our our software, and um, his his production and net profit increased thirty percent in twelve months with the same sales force, same group of people selling to the same thirty percent increase. Price. Yeah. Um, there's, we, we could do an entire podcast just on testimonials, but mm. there was another agent who was, you, you've talked about slumps on some of these podcasts, right? Yeah. And you yes. just, sometimes you just suck. And he, he was in a slump. Everybody was telling him no. He was trying to close out the year strong before Christmas and it just wasn't working. And, and he called his, his, um, field trainer and said, it's just not, everybody's telling me no. He said, well, are you using the agency rocket software? And he goes, no, I really got to get in and start digging to that. So they spent an hour together going through exactly how to use the software. Mm-hmm. This agent then went back, closed $20,000 in target commissions from five, four out of the five people who just earlier that month had already told him no. Wow. That's how simplistic our software makes it and how wow. easy it takes all the heavy lifting off the agent's shoulders. Puts it on the software. So this software is showing a side-by-side comparison of what these things look like. There's tables. There's reports. There's interactive reports, this, which you send a password-protected uh, link to your client um, that they can get in, and, and they can drag the sliders and change their own inputs of tax rates and fees rates and all that kind of stuff so they can see how it would look instead of the agent just trying to do it. So there's, 
you can brand it to yourself, your own company. Like I said, mm-hmm. the landing pages are customizable. And if you're all in on this entire platform with every bell and whistle we have, it's one nineteen ninety five a month. Again, there's a discount through Life Insurance Academy um, that would drop that rate as well. Beautiful, man. So carriers that they need, what type of carriers work with this? All the big IUL ones. I, I mean, there's there's probably a handful of IUL products out there that, that we don't mm-hmm. support, but we support about a dozen and a half different carriers. All the big ones. Top five. Give me the top five that you uh, guys love, that well, you guys like. Well, we've got um, National Life Group, AIG, North American, Allianz, Securian, F, uh, Fidelian Guarantee, Columbus, Midland, Symmetra. Symmetra? Symmetra. Mm-hmm. Pac Life, Transamerica, John Hancock, Securian, Emeritus, Manico. Yeah, Midland. Um, Sounds like a lot. Mo- most of the ones you you would probably want to use. Yeah. And look, we if there's a carrier that, you know, some big group likes to use and we don't currently support them, that's something we would want to fix and get supported quickly. Perfect, man. Well, so agents can go to lifeinsuranceacademy.org forward slash agency rocket yes. to get more info. Uh, on how the entire thing works. How can they connect with Sean Meenan? You can connect with us directly on our website, which is just agencyrocket.com. Mm-hmm. Our contact info is there. Uh, you can send email to our support line with questions, which is support at agencyrocket.com. Um, and, yeah, we'll jump on it. If you sign up directly at agencyrocket.com, you're going to be losing money. you got to go to lifeinsuranceacademy.org forward slash agencyrocket. That's how you get the discount. Because you're a loyal listener and follower of the Life Insurance Academy <laughs> podcast. Is that right? Did I say anything wrong? I didn't hear anything. I think you said it perfectly, though. Okay. I hope they heard that, too. <laughs> so, guys, uh, we're hoping to do more with these guys. Um, this was fun. Yeah. we. Uh, I love your passion for what you're doing. I've, I I really feel like your your values align with ours. We're on a, on a crusade to, to change the quality of care, the level of service provided in our country to help uh, agents uh, become profitable, to help them take care of their families, but to care for clients in a way that many other people are not. I do believe there's a silent epidemic going on in our country, and I do believe that you're participating in one of the best industries that you could ever be involved in. And if you align yourself with the right people and you get yourself uh, the right tools and resources and the right support behind you, you could change your financial future and the lives of everyone you serve. I've seen it happen. I've seen families changed. I've seen legacies changed. I'm excited to be able to bring the relationship with Agency Rocket to you guys. If you guys got any questions about that, reach out to us. You can shoot us a DM. You can leave comments below. If you got questions for Sean and you're watching this YouTube podcast, will you drop some questions for Sean there? They'll be monitoring this episode on YouTube, and I'm sure they'll be happy to answer those questions. So drop us a question, shoot us a DM. Uh, we love your feedback. I can't wait to, to do more with you guys. Likewise. Thank you for serving a, your market and community so well. Thanks for making a difference, man. Thanks for having and me, And we'll Roger. see you guys on the next episode of the Life Insurance Academy podcast. <laughs>